meet project red truck <laughs> I don't know what to call this thing I've had this truck for oh there's my dad's project Scion uh, I don't think that one's gonna get fixed though but this is my this is my red truck I've had this for oh it's got to been 15 20 years now I've had it for quite a while um, so when I got this truck we bought it in an auction because we wanted the body off of it and uh, then we got it and it had a little v6 in it it ran like a top we couldn't we couldn't bring ourselves to to park the body out so I drove it with the v6 for a couple of years and then when that blew a head gasket uh, I got another car that had a bad transmission and I stole this little 318 that's in here out of a 87 Ram Charger that I diesel swapped and uh, I stuck this little 318 in here and we drove it for four or five years with this and now it's got a rod knock um, as you can see by how dusty and nasty it is it's been sitting right here in this spot for about two and a half years um, and unfortunately we've lost the keys so but this is this is a 318 that has got some graces from our race car days it's got a mopa performance which is uh it's a it's a 6 al but it's branded as mopa performance it's got a msd pro billet distributor back there you can't really see it has a cns bypass fuel regulator there and it has a msd blaster two coil what we're going to do is we're going to build a 440 to put in here and uh get this 318 out and we're going to take the 727 that's in here it's a it's a pretty built transmission that i had laying around when i put this together um we're going to transfer the guts out of this into a big block case to go behind that 440 but right now we got to be able to get the steering wheel to unlock we don't have no keys for it they got lost a couple years ago so i'm just going to set this here we're going to go ahead and pull the steering column apart and uh try to get the ignition switch out of it i got a new one in the house and we're gonna see if we can get this get a key for this little truck so this is the first time I've actually done this I've tried before to drill it out and all the other stuff and it never works out well this was not that bad of a process it really wasn't that hard to figure it out I did have to reference the instructions a couple of times but it, all in all uh, don't be afraid of something if, if you know you get it and it doesn't have keys it's it's really not that difficult at least not on this truck to go ahead and replace that ignition lock cylinder and uh, with the, any old parts like this I definitely recommend using hand tools to put it back together it's okay to use your impact to take it apart but like I see use a screwdriver to put it back together not the impact all right guys well I, uh, I my camera went dead so we're using my phone now um, we're gonna fire this thing up I'm not gonna lie to you I I already hit the key just to see what it would do and it started instantly. So let me swap this around and I'll have my dad jump in there and hit the key for you guys. Alright, put my my NOCO Genius Boost Pro jump box on a completely dead battery. So there it is. When it's cold you don't hear the rod knock as bad, but so yeah. Three years of not starting and it literally started that easy the first time. I was just trying to see if I was going to have enough battery power to turn it over. And it fired instantly. So there it is. It's running now. We'll move it over there and get this motor pulled out of it. Alright, so we got ready to put this together or start checking the block out. And we noticed this ear for the water pump bolt was broke out. Or broke off on the top. So what I did is I just took a cutoff wheel and I V'd the, the part out where the bolt, the threads were actually still there, but I didn't record that, sorry. But I V'd it out so that it fits a 3 8 bolt or nut. Let me see if I can get this set up so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so that's where that bolt was broke off. And what we did is I V'd that, that out there and made it so a 9 16 or a 3 8 nut fits in there 
just like that and then this bolt screws in so what we're going to do is we're going to get this set up and then since this is cast you can't really weld to it but we're going to put a tack on both on both nuts just to hold them in place where they go and then once we get the tack on there I got this extra piece of cast iron that came off of a semi truck transmission and I just cut it off and I made it so it fits tight over the top of the nut this side is machined so we're gonna put that out and then once we get the nuts tack welded in there they're probably gonna break because it's cast and these are steel and so the weld is probably gonna break but I'm doing the the weld more as a register to hold these nuts where I have them and then I'm gonna put this piece of cast over the top of it and then basically it makes kind of like a wrench to hold it all together and then we're going to cover all this in braise and then grind it back down so that it looks right it's the the third bolt in the water pump it doesn't really i i think it would probably run without it because this is cast iron on cast iron with the gasket i don't think it would leak but i just want to have it so it, it is complete so we're going to go ahead and braise this all together and uh I guess we're going to tack weld the nuts first so that they kind of create a register so the nuts stay exactly where we put them. And then once we get all done, I'll clean all this up with a die grinder and shape it back so it looks close to what it looked like from the factory. And uh, then that part of this project will be fixed and then it's time to start cleaning the block up and get it ready for paint. So we got the uh, ear all brazed back on there. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but it holds a bolt. The front edge here is nice and flat. And the distributor will go in, so that's how we're going to run it. So today we are working on the 440 for the red truck. And I, uh, I'm going to work on porting the heads, or more actually port matching the heads to the intake manifold. So let me turn this around here. And I'll show you guys what we got. So this is a used intake that uh, I got, and I'm actually a little bit disappointed in it. Um, I knew it was ported on. I didn't realize just how much somebody had hogged it out. But that's okay. This is not a max power build. This is kind of just getting this thing running. Um, in the future, we may have to swap to a different intake. But with those mostly lined up, you can see that this intake has gone way beyond just a gasket match i mean it's it's about i don't know depending on where you check a sixteenth of an inch or so past a good gasket match on the intake well since we have stock heads if we turn this around here and set this on the heads you'll see that we're not even close to the gasket size on the heads so we have a major mismatch between the intake and the heads. So what we're going to do is we're going to gasket match the heads and then we'll use this intake for now. Um, in the future, we may end up replacing this with something else. I really wanted to try a uh, Wii and accelerator and they're really, really hard to find. And this one, unfortunately, somebody has gone too far with. And I mean, I could try to epoxy it up, but it's just somebody's really really done a number on this i don't i don't think it's worth saving um so we'll see how it does we'll see how it runs it might be all right it might be the magic combination you never know well i'm gonna get all set up here and uh get some blue on these heads and get these gaskets bolted on there and i'll show you how i set this up and then trace out what i'm gonna do and then get the porting going here's the finished product gasket match a slight bowl blend, cleaned up any rough edges inside the ports, and cut down the pushrod pinch just a little bit. The next clip is of the first test drive that we caught on my wife's phone because I lost all the rest of the footage of building this. So we will work on this more when we go back to Colorado in May. I plan to bring it to Alabama at that point. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we will see you soon.